Da, da, da. The instructions of what not to do. We'll just have to amputate. <laughs> it's like a diaper. <laughs> First thing you're rid of it. Yeah, weight reduction. Okay, so this is our stock Datsun tank. Um, we have a video out where we had to clean this thing and clean this thing some more, and we finally got to a point where it should be safe to use, um, but we have to do some modifications. The factory pump was located on the frame rail and we weren't gonna use it. So we wanted one that was quiet and reliable, so we decided to go with dun, 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 the Holly in-tank retrofit fuel pump. Now this is... Remember how much this one was rated for? Uh, 450 liters yep. per hour. Yeah, so this was 450 liters per hour. So this should support us all the way when we, to the point when we add boost, which isn't yet, but it's coming soon. So we figured we would go with one that we can use all the way through. Um, what's cool about this is it allows you to retrofit your stock tank, and it seals up really nicely. On some tanks that are thicker, on the shorter part, you could put it there. Um, but we're going to have to go up here because it's going to be too shallow here to run this pump. So we're going to be going right about here. The sending unit comes in here. And thankfully there's not a baffle till back here. So we have plenty of room here. The other thing that's cool about the Holly pump is it comes with a hydromat. So this attaches to the bottom. This is the other part of the fuel pump. It attaches to the bottom of your fuel pump and it covers more area on the bottom of the tank so you won't be starving out the fuel pump and we have heard nothing but good things. So very excited to try that. Now we gotta cut a hole. We need this big hose saw. Three and a quarter. Right there. That's what it says in the instructions. Yes, somewhere. there are instructions. The instructions of what not to do. Are you gonna read those? No, there's a lot of them. There's a lot to it. Oh. I'm going to read them, yes. Okay. It says if you don't, there could be death and a few other things, but wow. that's, that's that what it could escalate to. That escalated to. really quickly. It says it right here. Okay, yep, death, so, wow. Hmm. Read your instructions or else there could be death. So we're gonna read the instructions and then we're gonna start doing some modifications. Ready? That escalated quickly. <laughs> Pretty sure if you don't change your oil right, there could be death. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be very, very careful so there is no death. Yep. <laughs> okay, we need to drill a hole. Uh, we Do you marked want to show out... them how it works though? Okay, so and on these fuel pumps, they've got a really cool way of fastening these. So as you turn the bolt heads, it'll lock here goes down and then we can start tightening it it's pretty cool yeah you don't have to worry about nuts or anything it'll just clamp it yeah and pull uh, and compress the big foam yep. gasket ready yep So this tube really fouled us up. Yeah. But we don't need that tube. First thing you're rid of it. Yeah. Weight reduction. Yes. It stops right there. No? Yeah. Yeah, it stops right like right in here. We'll just have to cut that out. We're gonna need to cut it out of the way so our fasteners don't hit there, right? Mm. Unless we just straddle it with the fasteners. Maybe. Might be able to. Hmm. Yes. We will have to investigate. Yeah, Ew. we need to wipe that out now. Ew. And maybe get that last bit of rust. But it looks so much better. Yes. Are you having fun? Yes. My magnet is almost full. So we got the whole cut with the hole saw and deburred the edges a little bit with a file. My and arm's stuck. What? My arm's stuck. Your arm's stuck? We'll just have to amputate. 
I'm just kidding. Ew. Yummy. That could have gone in the fuel filter. Yep. We got it out. So definitely clean out the tank. And don't just do a magnet, because that's not going to get it off. We'll probably rinse it with, I don't know, de a little bit of diesel or something, maybe, to yeah. prevent more rusting. You just want to make sure that none of this like goes farther back in the tank and gets caught, so we can get most of it out here. Yeah. Then we'll be in good shape. OK, she's going to keep doing that. <laughs> So we got that tank all cleaned out, all the metal shavings out. We did, all right, how many rinses? Three rinses? Lots, yeah, lots of rinses. A, a few rinses. A yeah. few rinses, he says. And then we realized that we hadn't cut this tube all the way back enough, so it wasn't clearing well. So this is what I did to collect the metal grindings that will get off of this. Uh, I didn't want to clean the tank again, so <laughs> I just put a little bit of tape on the bottom of that, and that is solid. So that should keep all of the metal out of the tank. It's like a diaper. <laughs> it's going to work. All right, so I used my chiride burr and my gas tank bite diaper, and if you look down in there, it totally worked. Look at all those shavings. Heck yeah. So we got this fuel tank all cleaned out, all the metal shavings out. Um, we had to end up, we ended up having to take this tube back a little bit farther to clear the fuel pump. So that was where I did the diaper bag and collected everything. So it should be all clean. So now we're good to install that fuel pump. And on this fuel pump, we are at the max height, maybe a little over for this fuel pump. So I didn't have to do any trimming. Um, it does come with instructions if you have to trim it down if you have a shorter tank, but we got lucky. I didn't have to do that. So this is the fuel pump here. I installed this. There's a hose that runs down and you use a hose clamp here. And the wiring just snaps together. You install these two hose clamps and this aluminum piece. And so then when you're ready to drop it in the tank, oh, hydro mat the cap out of that and so we're gonna have the short end go over here and the long end that way you see you could go straight on you can have it clocked this way that's gonna be too extreme for us so in you go So we'll just check the inside, make sure it looks okay. Get it lined up so those will swing. Yeah, we have to the, clear that. Clear the tube with the little There's arms. There's tube right here. So on that sending unit, we had to bend that wire towards us, so towards the filler neck, because it was hitting the side of the mat. But if you just bend it over just a little bit, it clears the mat. So I should have a factory fuel gauge. All right, so we got this all torqued down. Um, we did a star pattern here. Those are all to around 60 inch pounds. And you can see that gas gets squished down quite a bit. Looks awesome. So then we'll figure out where we want these. Somewhere in here. Do some test fitting under the car. But I like this. Might put some padding up on top of the... Yeah, we might put up... We have a little bit more of this that we can just put right there on top. To protect the wires and stuff. So that'll wrap up this video. We are super excited to try this Holly pump. This whole unit is just it's really nice. So uh, we'll start on some wiring and running some fuel lines and we'll have a follow up video of when this is working. So thanks for watching.